Hi, this is Bo on the road and authentic world food. We are in Midigam in Sri Lanka. Today it's gonna be a massive cooking with many people helping as it's gonna be cooking for a very special occasion ceremony called Sagi Kadana, which means almsgiving. This ceremony is held three months after a family member dies and it's about monk praise for a better new life of that person and giving away food to all people from the village. So the preparations are really huge and the food which will be prepared now is called acharu. It's fast pickled and ripe papaya. They prepare food like this for special occasions only, like New Year or this one. So first they remove seeds from papaya and peel it. They use this huge machete for nearly anything from peeling vegetables over chopping onions to portioning chicken. And now the hardest job begins, grating. As what they need is to grate such a huge bowl of papaya. And what they have are just these two little graters, so it took more than two hours. There is another example here how they use knives. This time for peeling shallots. Then they add some turmeric for nice yellow color and mix it. They do nearly everything on the ground. Nearly never use table. This is Ushadi, four-year-old girl, and she's watching ladies in the garden. The one on the left is the main chef. She looks after quality of all ingredients and processes. Quality in Sri Lanka really matters. The more when talking about food for ceremony of this kind. She is even explaining to all the ladies how to cut green chilies the right way. You see the knife again? The ladies got their instructions, so now they follow them. Food preparations for the ceremony last four days and nights, so refreshment breaks are very important. Meanwhile, papaya release juice, so it's time to get rid of it. Last bits of papaya they squeeze using some old clothes. Now this is another great tool, stony roller. In this case they use it for mixing black pepper, black mustard seeds powder and coconut vinegar and for crushing garlic with ginger. If they need to crush really huge amount of anything, they use huge mortar. Now let's move to the stuff. They have open fire only. As a firewood, they use dry coconut leaves and coconut skins. They mix coconut vinegar with salt. Warm it up. Stir in green chilies and cook few minutes. Traditional wooden spoon in Sri Lanka is made of coconut shells. Then they strain chilies through bamboo strainer and the same vinegar used for shallots and cook them few minutes too. All ingredients are ready. Now just the quality check is necessary again. 
It seems everything is alright, so it's time to mix it all up. They start mixing coconut vinegar with black pepper and mustard seeds powder they prepared before. Add some salt. And mix it into this beautiful mat. Then they mixed in shallots with green chilies, crushed ginger and garlic, and papaya, of course. You can see what a beautiful yellow color it got from the turmeric. And now it's important to mix it all really well, which especially in amount like this takes some time. And the best way to do it is just with bare hands. And the last thing is to fill the mix into ceramic bottles and press it very tight. Then they cover the bottle with newspaper and wrap by a stripe from some old clothes. And like this, they let it rest in room temperature 2 to 4 days. Room temperature in Sri Lanka is around 30 degrees. After 2 or 4 days, achar is ready for being consumed at the ceremony. It tastes a bit like pickled cabbage and it's delicious. And now we have time for playing. Ushadi learns English in kindergarten and we are practicing colors now. <laughs> she's very obedient, you see? Her mom calls her and she stops everything and goes. For full recipe and buying ingredients, check links under the video. For more stuff about authentic cooking, check authenticworldfood.com website and follow us on Facebook.